Hey girls, it's Tuesday, and I don't know what the date is. Yeah. Today's awesome because they had chicken patties at lunch today, and they're delicious. Madeline, your video yesterday was absolutely hilarious. It made my day. It was great. And you should spend more videos with your cat because that was hilarious. I will definitely get to my punishment eventually. I don't have any time today. <laughs> I don't have any time. Um, I usually film this during the little break that I have between my classes, and I've been spending most of it reading, so I just I don't have time at all. But yeah. Next week, I'm going to be home, though, so hopefully I'll be able to film interesting stuff around my hometown. <laughs> so interesting. I live in a cow town. But, um... So yeah, so I'll be there. And I'm thinking about getting a haircut. Thoughts? I know you can't really tell how huge my hair is when it's in braids, but it's getting big. So I don't know how short I should get it, though, you know? Yeah, you asked me about my favorite book, and I don't really know how to answer that question because you should know that I'm illiterate and I'm not able to read. I just, I can't. Um, and I do, I do actually have a lot of books that I really like, but I can't really choose a favorite, because I'm bad at that kind of stuff. But I guess if I think about books that I had a really fun time reading, like in the process of reading, I really loved The Kite Runner, because I feel like when we read that in my class, it was that one book that everyone read, and everyone like really enjoyed, and it was the one time in English class that people were actually like paying attention. I, I don't know, I just, I have fond memories reading that in class with Mrs. Hayden. <laughs> I miss her. I love Mrs. Hayden. But, yeah, I don't know. So I, I guess I would say that, but there are a lot of books that I like a lot. So, so this Friday, some of my friends and I went out to dinner. Um, we went to this restaurant called The Skinny Pancake, which was a crepe shop. And it was absolutely delicious. We were doing it because it's my and my roommate's birthday this upcoming weekend. But we're not going to be here. So we had a joint birthday party this last weekend. Um, three of us went to the bathroom at the same time. And while we were there, Catherine and one of my other friends apparently talked to the waitress at our table. And when our desserts came, they all sang to me, which was ridiculously embarrassing. They gave me a little candle on my crepes. It was cute. And the bathroom was awesome. On the way to it, it was like this gorgeous mural with animals and sea creatures and coral and a giant tiger head. And it was really cool. And so we spent like 20 minutes on our trip to the bathroom because we were just staring at the walls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we took pictures. Which was really funny when we all left, and then my friend Erin ran back for her camera. It's like, oh, I need my camera in the bathroom. Because we're sketches. But, yeah, it was fun. And you guys need to come visit me so that we can go there and eat delicious crepes with Nutella and bananas. Because it's delicious. Ah. So none of you watch Doctor Who. Meredith, do you watch Doctor Who? You should be. You all should be. I just watched The End of Time. It was so sad. Uh, yeah. It was a very emotional night. Yeah, Catherine was gone, and so I watched it. And it was a special that aired over Christmas break, but I didn't watch it because I've been avoiding what I knew would happen in it. And it was just, it was very emotional and amazing. And you guys need to watch that show because it's awesome. It was fantastic. They did so much justice to David Tennant. I was so happy when I saw it, other than, you know, the crying part. So my question is, what TV show should we be watching and why?